Now, Polarity TE is a publicly traded company, and here are our forward-looking statements. Polarity TE is a commercial stage biotechnology and neogenerative company focused on improving the lives of patients with our regenerative tissue products. Our headquarters and our FDA-registered biomanufacturing facility are located in Salt Lake City, Utah, in the Mountain West region of the United States. Polarity TE's core platform technologies begin with the patient's own healthy tissues and harness the endogenous potential of the uh, minimally polarized functional unit, or MPFU, in these tissues. The use of autologous tissue from the patient and for the patient avoids allogeneic tissue rejection and foreign body reactions that would complicate wound healing. The technology also focuses on maintaining the correct cellular niche and interactome of tissues meaning that the tissues are being regenerated from their tissues of origin, so they're homologous. Polarity TE's foundational technology platform represents a paradigm shift from uh, traditional tissue engineering approaches. The goal is not to overprocess or deconstruct the tissue. Rather, the aim is to maintain the uh, inherent polarity that tissues have evolved with over time. And consequently, we are not culturing the tissues ex vivo. The patient actually acts as their own bioreactor, such that our products expand on the patient. And the significance of these platform characteristics will be demonstrated in the clinical cases that I'll show you shortly. Polarity TE started with skin. Skin is a very complex organ and it has a significant regenerative capacity. Full thickness skin is comprised of three major compartments, the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis, each with a distinct barrier and censoring and immune functions, and they house unique cell types and accessory structures that enables the skin to really do its job well. Traditional tissue engineering of skin has generally employed relatively simple scaffolds, cell populations, and signaling molecules that are used in combination to replace skin that's lost during wounding. So on the left, you see a survey of the commercial skin substitutes that are out there, ranging from acellularized scaffolds, autologous cell suspensions, uh, allogeneic and xenogenic uh, structures, up to various biological composite materials. And what you can quickly appreciate is that this engineering approach does not reproduce the complexity of full thickness skin. Um, with its really distinct layered character and its full spectrum of hair, glands, vessels, and other accessory structures. In contrast, Polarity TE's first commercially available product in the United States, Skin TE, is an entirely different approach to neogeneration of skin. It's indicated for use in acute and chronic wounds, in trauma, burns, surgical reconstruction, and also scar revision. And Skin TE is truly personalized medicine. It's taking the patient's skin and optimizing it for wound healing in austere wound environments. Skin TE was first applied to patients in the, at the end of 2017, and it has very broad applications, as I'll show you now. Uh, here is an example of a patient with a diabetic foot ulcer. Uh, in the before picture, you can see that the wound has exposed bone and joint. Uh, which presented a real risk of infection um, particular, and made conventional treatment with skin grafting uh, problematic. Uh, the healthcare provider elected to use skin TE on this patient, and in the after picture, you see the wound healing that was achieved after a single application of skin TE, including durable closure of the wound. 
Healing of a complex acute traumatic wound is illustrated in the pediatric case you see here. This injury was caused by a lawnmower. And you can see that there is exposed tendon, bone, and muscle in the before picture. A single application of skin TE resulted in the healing that's evident in the after picture about 12 weeks post-treatment. And the foot's range of motion was uh, remained intact after healing. Now, Polarity TE just launched two randomized controlled clinical trials, one in diabetic foot ulcers and a second in venous leg ulcers that are comparing skin TE to standard of care treatments. Here's an example of another diabetic foot ulcer from the pilot trial, and it was treated with skin TE and the healing that you see achieved 21 days after its application. Skin TE has been used to treat a variety of other cutaneous skin defects, as demonstrated by this slide. On the top left, you see an acute large wound of a patient who's suffering from necrotizing fasciitis. You can see the significant degree of exposed muscle and tendon in this case um, in the right lower extremity following surgical debridement. The patient was initially treated with split thickness skin grafts, and skin TE was applied in the healthcare provider's clinic to treat the refractory, refractory wounds that occurred uh, following grafting. On the bottom left, you see the case of a two-year-old girl who presented to a burn unit with acute scald burns to both arms, legs, and chest. Several regions failed initial treatment with split thickness skin grafting and were subsequently treated with skin TE. And in the after picture here, you see an example of early stage healing uh, one month following her burn injury, including skin regeneration in the areas that were treated. You've already seen the case of uh, the acute case at the top right. So on the bottom right, there is an example of a chronic wound of the left lateral foot that was caused by a traumatic crush injury. Following skin TE deployment in the healthcare provider's office, the patient experienced full thickness functional skin regeneration within the wound bed and full coverage of the previously exposed bone. Skin TE has also been successfully deployed following Mohs surgery. Uh, as you can see on the images on the top left, the patient here had a history of complications uh, with traditional local flap reconstructions. And one month following skin TE deployment, the, um, there is restoration of the three-dimensional contours of the face, uh, particularly without distortion to uh, critical anatomical landmarks. On the bottom left, you see an the example of diabetic foot ulcers. We've had a couple that I've shown you here today. On the top right is the case of a 10-year-old boy who experienced a severe flame burn injury and had been treated over a year earlier with traditional uh, split thickness skin grafting. And the graft developed severe contractions and keloid scars that limited his range of motion, uh, particularly the movement of his arm and his neck, and led to chronic pain. After the graft was excised um, in an effort to treat some of this, uh, it was treated with skin TE, and full thickness skin was regenerated uh, over the previously fibrotic wound and with restoration of range of motion. And finally, on the bottom right, you see a traumatic injury after a motor vehicle collision in which exposed bone, joint, muscle, and tendon were covered with skin TE, and functional skin was regenerated in the wound bed in this case as well. So how does skin TE look from the provider's standpoint? Providers are given a harvest box free of charge that contains everything that they need to take a full thickness skin harvest from an unaffected site. The box contains all of the necessary instruments, solutions, and transport containers, as well as a self-cooling return shipment box that enables 
the box to be sent to our FDA registered biomanufacturing facility. There the sample is processed and banned, it's processed and returned as a deployable material that is spread across the wound bed and bandaged using standard procedures that would, you would use for a standard skin graft. Skin TE is designed to be a single treatment and it, it uses established clinical workflows and reimbursement to be convenient for the provider, but most importantly, convenient for the patient. Now depicted here is an example of skin TE deployed in a chronic wound. Uh, you can actually read more about this particular case in an article published in the March 2019 issue of the International Wound Journal titled, In Vivo Expansion and Regeneration of Full Thickness Functional Skin with an autologous homologous skin construct. Now this patient was a gentleman who was in a motorcycle accident and was dragged underneath a car. You can imagine that there, was, uh, there were fairly severe uh, wounds, particularly to his legs. One of his legs was successfully treated with a split thickness skin graft, which you see over to the left, uh, the right side, while the other developed a festering two-year chronic wound that failed uh, multiple prior uh, split thickness skin grafts and another uh, and a number of advanced wound care products. And after a single application of skin TE, the patient experienced complete closure of the wound, which is evident in the images that you see at the bottom, uh, showing wound healing over time. Now note, this is not healing by contraction. And this is also not migration in from the edges, uh, but healing from the inside out. Furthermore, when analyzing the functionality of this skin uh, through two-point discrimination, there was comparable discrimination between the skin TE and the patient's native skin. His other leg that had successfully received this, the split thickness skin grafting was much less sensate. And in addition, the skin TE treated area was hair bearing, which demonstrates that skin TE, skin TE is capable of recapitulating important aspects of complex skin architecture. Analysis of biopsies from treated patients provide some additional information about the characteristics of healed skin TE. Here you see stereotactic imaging and histological analysis which show the development of mature rete pegs, the epidermis, uh, the distinct layers of the epidermis, and mature dermal collagen. This uh, demonstrates that not only are the wounds achieving full closure, but most importantly, that full thickness functioning skin is being formed. Now for more information, um, here's some contact information. Uh, you can go to polaritytee.com and reach out to the following numbers or email addresses. And I thank you for your time.